Hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood, California Mojave Gardener here. Now, I didn't know if I was going to keep uh, gardening and I wasn't sure quite what I was going to be gardening. Or should I say what I was going to be growing. So, I'm starting up right now. I know... I'm starting a little late, but what I want to do is give my seeds everything it's going to need to hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking at my tent. My tent was broken on one side, so it's leaning down. And then on the other side, the wind blew so hard that it took the top canopy of my vent uh literally blew it all onto one side and i'm looking and my mat has even moved i tell you when the wind blows out here it doesn't play so i'm gonna keep my canopy like it is i'm just gonna fix the top so won't no birds decide they want to dive into it but i'm gonna show you guys right what it looks like now, I was seriously debating if I was going to get the little blue one. I might still get that one, but this is what's going on right now. Let's see. Can you see it? See that? If you look on the top. If you want to look down in the inside. Can you, hopefully you can see it. That side is the side that broke, but it must have broke when I was at the Gospel Fest two years ago, because that was the last time I used it, and it was actually brand new, because I've only used it twice. This would be my third time. So, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to fix the leg, but that's going to be uh, off camera. So, for now... I see that my mat, it didn't move. I thought it moved. It didn't. It's just the wind has been blowing like crazy. I had T-posts down there to hold the um, mesh down. But the mesh, because of the wind, has literally flipped the T-posts. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is do my seed starting. Because I want them to get as much nutrients as they can possibly get. So, I'm going to take you down here with me. So, what I have, I went and bought some before a Dollar Tree was out of them. Let me pull this up. Sorry about that. So, I have this one. This is Coco Core. And then I have, I thought I had four, but I guess I have three of the expandable soil, which is the same as the cocoa core. Uh, this one has uh, cocoa core and wood. Uh, see how thin it is? And then I have the expandable one, expandable one the brick of all bricks. All right, now, I still need to put something in here and I forgot to go get it. What I have in here, let me go ahead and put it down. Let me try to keep my hands out the way. <laughs> All right, what I have in here so far is about, hmm, about two gallons of water. I also have chicken manure, uh, blood meal, bone meal, um, Epsom salt. That's what I have in here so far. For calcium, this is dried and powdered eggshells. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Woo! Then 
this right here is is um coffee grounds used coffee grounds i'm going to throw all that in there because basically it's going to take up everything oh and one more thing i need to put in here you know we do it on the real i'm not hiding nothing from nobody i'm letting y'all know what i use if you want to try it you can try it like i said before and i'll say it again I am a beginner, even though I, you know, my tomatoes are still kicking in the gear. I guess nobody told them, you know, to be done with it. But this here is earthworm castings. Earthworm castings. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Can't tell me, you cannot tell me that is not a pretty color. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm. I'm going to put some of that in there. I want them to grow and get strong from the get-go. I don't want to sit here and play around. These are uh, supposed to be 100% organic. I'm going to put one more in there. Oops. No, can't let that spill out. That's that good, good. All right. Sit here. I'm mixing it up in its own little slurry. Yes, I am. Mix it, mix it, mix it all the way down to the bottom. You can call this fertilized tea if you want to. Call it what you want to. All right. Now, I'm going to open up this big block right here. And I'm going to put that in here. This is a real big block. This is block is probably going to take up majority of this water. You know, don't let nothing go to waste. Don't play. It's real light, actually. Unfortunately, uh, you can't break it or open it or anything. So this whole block is going to go down in here. And I'm going to let it do what it do. And you could just watch the water levels right here. Just watch the water levels. Ooh, look at that. And why that's doing that, because I plan to use all of them. And then once I have all of these in here and all of my see these are easy my seeds starting mix starts to uh break up you know all that fun stuff then i'm gonna put a little bit of organic soil in it what i have for last season left over and then this is going to be my seed starting mix then I'm going to start getting my seeds and everything together. This wind is blowing again, y'all. So we're going to stir this around. Woo! It's a rush. Look at the uh, big brick has literally broken in half. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to add some more water. I have some rain water, but it looks crazy. So I am going to use it, but I am going to strain it before I use it. 
look at that it took all that it took just about all that water I'm gonna put these in here if you're hearing that noise in the background that's I have a wind tarp up for my patio see this is the wood and this is the cocoa core so I'm going to do this <sighs> crazy I should have had this done a long time ago but like I said I wasn't sure what I was gonna do yet so now that I am gonna go ahead and get some stuff started because in actuality I forgot how how big or small this tent was and for some reason I was thinking it was bigger than this don't get me wrong, I can get another tent and add next to it and tie the two together. I really could. That's not a big problem. And then just take off one of the side walls and add it to the front and back of a, another uh, tent. But the wind... You know, the wind hasn't even been blowing like crazy hard, but this tent is acting like it is. Yep, see? There's no more water in here. So let me go get my water together and I'll bring you back afterwards. Alrighty? Alright. I'm over here where I collected rainwater. I didn't put no top on it or nothing. But it's okay. I can't find the one that I use for uh, for the garden. Um, it's a flower sack. So I just got the one that I use in my kitchen to strain out stuff. The last time this was used was last week when I strained some, um, what did I make? Some... Uh, ginger tea so it's all right because it will never be used in my kitchen again it doesn't cost that much to just simply go get some more so I got bungee cords to keep the uh, the flower sack on here because I'm debating I'm going to send it through two. So, ha <laughs> ha, Bungie. Tell you, you can figure out some stuff. Don't even play. You sure can. And let me show you, let me show you this water. Can you see that? Yeah. That came off up there and from the roof. It was out here, to tell you the truth, it was raining pretty good. I mean, it was. I didn't come out here with just a bucket. What I did was I let the rain go real hard for about 30 minutes then i came out here and i put the bucket out thinking that my water was gonna be clean uh, yeah it didn't quite happen like that yeah it didn't happen like that at all Ugh slime I'm touching slime but it's okay I'm just trying to uh, get some of the slime off 
I have to put this in a knot because this is a little loose. So, and the water is a different color. Usually, when I collect the rainwater from up there, it's usually clear. So, I don't know what's going on. It could be, hopefully, let me put you guys over here. Hopefully, it's not acid rain. Because, you know, everybody else around the country was getting rain, but California wasn't getting rain so much, you know. So, I kept saying that I was going to come out here and strain it. So, since I need some water and I don't have any more... Uh, tap water that I left out for 24 hours so I'm basically have to do this go ahead and take this it's still it's still red though but it don't have uh, like doesn't have like the leaves and stuff in it I'm gonna show you see so, it's working to a point. We'll see after this. I haven't bought my water pump yet. I'm sure if I would have put this through sand and charcoal, it would have uh, did better than what it's doing right now as far as purifying the water. That'll be one thing that I am going to do. I'm going to set up a couple of bird buckets and I'm going to invent my own uh, filtration system. Let's see what we're doing. Yep. It's looking like it did when it first rained. Yeah, so also I wanted to show you this. I just noticed it. Check this out. If you don't know what a sucker is, I'm going to show you. See that? See that? This is coming out of the elbow. This is a sucker. This is what you want to get rid of. So, I took it off. They say you can replant them, but when I try, it doesn't grow. So, if, you, if I did not remove the sucker that was right here... What would happen was this one would die. It will suck all the energy into that sucker, and then this one will die. Look at that. See, nobody told my tomato plant that it could stop for the rest of the year. And I just harvested some off. I just didn't put it on uh, YouTube or facebook then i got another one right here i mean it still wants to grow so i'm like this as a, as long as you want to grow we gonna keep doing it okay we're just gonna keep doing it we're gonna keep working it out that's just what that's just what we gonna have to do they don't want to stop so they said the tomatoes usually don't stop until the first freeze. The first freeze is supposed to be on the 12th. I checked it. Um, 
at the beginning of the year it said November 11th and then I checked it I do believe last night and it said the 12th so today's the 9th so got a couple of more days and that frost is gonna hit that's why I want to get them tarps here I need to get my extension cord I need to get everything done except actually plant outside I'm not gonna plant outside well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this greenhouse and put it out there and set that up so then I can put my seeds out there and what will happen is the Sun will hit down on it and it will heat it up in there so it won't be as unbearable right right be right back all right this is the water that I filtered and this is the oogie googie that I did so like I said it's still red so I don't know if it's acid rain or not because we have been dealing with a lot of dust storms um we have been dealing with a lot of fires all summer long it did not rain not one time it didn't rain until two weeks ago everybody else was getting hurricanes and beautiful weather and we were sitting up there like what the heck's wrong with us out here in california I found another one, so I'm gonna put this in there. So, let's keep going and see where we end up. All right, woo, it's thick in there. My goodness. So, let's take this one off. You say, Angela, you're making a lot. When I put those bricks in there, like I said, I'm still putting soil in here, but my soil lately hasn't been nice and fluffy like I've seen other people's. So, all right. Dang, it's sucking it down that fast. Well, the water don't smell bad. I guess I should have smelled it before I did it, huh? There we go. And it's going down lickety splitting quick again. Which is fine. Ooh, kids must be about to get out of school. They loud. So, I have everything in it except one little beastie. Which you say, what is it? Pro light. I didn't think I had any more, but I do. So. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some pearl light in here. Dang. All right. That should be enough, but I think I'm gonna pour all this water in here because I still gotta put soil in here. And I'm gonna put the soil in here off camera. I'm gonna transfer this actually into something else that's a little bit more manageable. I don't know who squished this down like this. But, yep. Yeah. You see it's all the way at the top, just about. So, this way when I put a lot of water in it, all I'm gonna do is mix it up, make sure everybody gets water. It's already getting thick. And then 
after this. This water is cold. This water been sitting out there for two weeks, waiting to be used. <sighs> I just want to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and get off of this, but do me a favor and hit that like button down there to help support the channel. Please also subscribe. Don't just watch the video because I've been seeing a lot of people, they just watch my videos, but they, they don't hit like. And they always make a, a positive remark that they can't wait to see stuff when I get through with it, but no one's hitting that like button. So if you want me to keep doing videos, help support this channel, please. Like, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell so anytime I upload a video, you guys will have it. Okay? Okay, my lovelies. I am going to sit here, finish doing this, take a break. Then after that, I'm going to transfer this into my bigger vessel and then woo, look at that the chunks are coming up woo, look at that y'all can't see it and then i'm going to add my soil and then i would literally all i have to do is take all my cups and my little pots my little seeding pots and just get ready for it clean them make sure you, if you reuse in pots you clean your pots i'm not reusing any used soil at all i'm leaving those right where they are anything that goes in this tent is going to have all new soil i don't want to introduce no bugs inside that tent because there are some bugs that don't come out until winter and i don't want them this is going to sit outside for about 24 hours or a couple of hours to finish doing what it do and then but i'm gonna make sure i put top on it because if you don't you got little creepy crawly little folks that's gonna come visit you all right you guys have a great day be blessed and be a blessing to someone and i shall talk to you later ciao oh and before i leave wanted to show you where it was broken at all right Let's see if you could see this. See this little, this bar right here? This bar? This bar broke right here. Why? I don't know, but it did. So I'm inside my tent and this is what it looks like. This I can fix. All I have to do is tie them down. They just came loose. No big deal. This right here, big deal. Very, very, very big deal. See? It literally broke. The part that literally broke off, I'm trying to let you see it, is literally outside the tent. And the whole thing, the whole thing just moved. There's no way to fix it unless I can get this bar back out of that hole. But, so, I want you guys to get a good look at it. It's on tilt right now. But, it will be fixed. Like my shirt, <laughs> it will be fixed. Let's take you around here so you can get a better look right quick. See where it broke? How did this get over? See, see, I'm I'm telling you, when I don't have no help, I have to try to figure out stuff by myself. See where it broke? And unfortunately, I don't have any money right now to get a whole new tent. It even punched a hole right through the weather, the rain gutter. See? I can't, unfortunately, right now, afford another one because I'm in the process of getting my car fixed because a dumb woman hit my car. But lo and behold, guess what? Let me tell you. <laughs> the 
it was a witness. So now she, my car is in the shop. I got a rental and she's paying for all of it. Amen. All right. I'm out of here. Be blessed and I should talk to you later. Whew, I'm tired. Ciao, ciao.